Hello, I'm Jordan, and welcome to the PK Elementary Morning Show. I'm Elena. And I'm Alex. We've got a great show for you today. Hi there, it's it's your morning show anchors. Um, I'm Alex. I'm Elena. And I'm Jordan. And today we have... Major Wright. Um, he's a football player, if you know him. Um, so let's get it started. Um, what teams have you played before? Okay, so I played for... First and foremost, University of Florida. I played there at college. Um, I won a national championship there um, in 2008. And then um, I got drafted to Chicago Bears. Third round, 75th pick. My dream did come true. And then I played for uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Nice. Um, what, are your ho- what are your hobbies? hobbies? Um, my hobbies, I like to dance. I dance a lot. Like, that brings me so much joy. So I do that often. I do that every day. It's not a day that go by I don't dance. So I dance a lot and then I like to be around my family. So I spend a lot of time with my family and enjoying that. Um, what is your favorite football team? My favorite football team. Um, I don't have a favorite football team and the reason why I don't have a favorite football team is because I have a lot of friends that plays in the NFL. So it's kind of hard to pick one team to love. And I didn't grow up just having one team that I liked. Well, I didn't really want to like <laughs> Because Ryan's like the Jacksonville Jaguars. Like, my favorite like team to the people that have a team is Trevor Okay, okay. Because he's a good car. He's, he's really good. He's really good. Yes. Um, when you were a kid, did you always want to be a football player? Or did you have other things? That's a really good question. I did always want to be a football player. Um, and I kind of like threw all my eggs in one basket and just was like, I need to make football work. But that's not the right thing to do. So you, you're supposed to diverse everything. So you're supposed to go hard in football, education, and other things as business as well. Um, what college did you attend? I attended the University of Florida. So, Mr. Wright, why are you here at PK? I am here at PK Young to introduce Mr. GDT. And um, Mr. GDT stands for Good Deed Tuesday. Uh, Mr. GDT goes out in the community every Tuesday and he activates his powers by doing good deeds. So for every good deed he does, something good happens in his life. So right now, Mr. GDT is on a mission to build a community, to get the kids to understand how important it is to be kind, to care, and to share. Can you tell me more, can you tell me more about the book? <clears throat> yeah, so th- this, this book um, is like really stories that Mr. GDT went out in a community and actually done good deeds for other people. Um, it's some amazing stories about him growing up, how like, um, is a shoe incident where he got picked <coughs> on in class uh, because his shoe, he used to wear the same shoes every day. And um, it basically just gets kids to understand that, listen, I may not have as much as you, but it shouldn't make you um, go against what I don't have, you know? So these stories really relate to like actual classroom stories. What kind of good deeds have you done in um, today? Um, today, the good deed I've done today, uh, signed autographs <laughs> and took some pictures. <laughs> yeah, earlier, tons of kids came with, with autographs and asking for autographs. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, so what good deeds have you guys done, starting with you? Mm, probably, um, let's see, probably like um, just helping my mom out and stuff and like, um, Probably, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't really know. Okay. Helped my friend with some batteries because he didn't have batteries, so I gave him some of the oh. batteries I had. And this morning I was in a rush to get to school, so I had I had to help my mom do the possible things to get here. Okay, I love that. I, lo- I love both of you guys. Go, it, it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't you haven't know. Done a, you haven't done a good deed? Well, Jordan, well, it's not the, it's not too late. I mean, you can do a good deed with Major, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. you can. Yeah. 
Do you do you know what like is considered a good deed? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Okay, all right. Explain to me what's a good deed. Like if you help someone out, you'll get like a good deed or something. Okay, okay. So when you help somebody out, so you haven't helped anybody out? No, because it's been lately, like, lately I've been chilling at my house. Okay, but when you're in school, you don't see kids who books has fell, or if the door is uh, shut and you see a lady walking out, do you hold the door? Oh, I did do, do a good you... deed this morning. Okay, so so Emily behind the camera. Okay, so what what did you do? What was hold, the good deed? Hold the door for her. Okay, so I hope y'all know like good deeds doesn't mean you have to like spend money. You don't have to do so much. Good deeds can be you see something drop and you pick it up and you give it to that person. You can hold a door for somebody. You can take the trash out, you know, uh, clean up the room for your, you know, your mom. Or do things around the house to do good deeds. It doesn't have to just be, you know, money, material stuff given. But I don't brought you good deeds. Though. Well, and that's what you need to start, like, understanding what those good deeds are so you can do more of that and get the feeling and understand what you're doing. Because you right now don't even know what you're doing, but you're doing good deeds. Yeah, I have a bunch of them past, <laughs> in the past. And about to be in the present now. Yeah. Okay, all right. Actually, I just remembered in class today, my friend, she was listening to an audiobook, but she didn't have headphones, so I gave her my headphones for reading class. There you go, and that's a good deed. You see that? So now being more aware and being intentional about these good deeds are, is what's going to help activate y'all powers. Thank you for um, coming to PK and um, spreading the word around about your Good Deed Tuesday. And um, just thank you for coming out. I appreciate you guys for having me. And anytime you guys need me on, I'm here. Mm -hmm. well, kid, well, kids, um, if you see this book around, like at a cheap price or even at the library, well then tell your parents to buy it or if you have your own money then you can buy it and or just check it out at the library. Make sure you read it. And they can go on GoodDeedTuesday.com. Yep. <laughs> and do good deeds. <laughs> First step is uh -huh. the one and only Wait, the, the, the one and only the moonwalk. The moonwalk. That's a signature. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Okay, all right. all right, my turn. Now, moonwalk. Oh, oh! Okay, okay. Yeah. Second step, the gritty. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, so the gritty. <laughs> okay, now the last step, the winner, the winner, winner. Oh. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, my turn. What you got, buddy? First up. Uh huh. Uh huh. This. Uh -huh. Hey. Oh. Frank. I messed. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The running man? Yes. Yeah, that. So, yeah. I keep on tripping on myself today. What? Nope. And then what? I, I don't know what to. No, no, uh, no, no. Do after that. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's all you got for me? Yeah, because I cannot trip on myself either. Major, do you have one for them? I do. Let me see if you guys can do this. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay. What you got? Uh, uh, uh. Good job. All right. Good job. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hey Alex and Elena, we got new people at to, to meet at PK in the, on our morning show. Hmm, I wonder who we're gonna meet this week. Let's take a look. Hey. 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 Hi there, I'm Alex from the morning show, and here I have Mr. Bull right here. He is our Odyssey of the Mind coordinator. And you might be wondering, what is Odyssey of the Mind? Well, what is Odyssey of the Mind? So Odyssey of Mind is a creativity um, competition where students get to compete in five different styles of problems, ranging from um, vehicle, technical, classical, um, structure, and dramatic. That's a few, that's a few of them. <laughs> um, 
So Odyssey of Mind is a club that meets at least once a week in the beginning of the year and when competition gets closer, teams meet more often to polish up their problems. And um, every February there's a big regional competition and teams come and compete and teams then, if they happen to do well, advance to the state competition. And if they do well at state, they can go to world competition where teams from all over the world come and compete. We have teams from China and Poland and Canada, and we meet at either Iowa State University or Michigan State University, and we have a big competition there. That, that is wonderful, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Well, I think that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe. So you can join in the beginning of the year, teams form. We have teams ranging from third grade all the way up to high school, and they compete in elementary division, middle school division, and high school division. Well, thanks, thanks for telling us all about Odyssey of the Mind. So, if you're in third grade that, or right now, um, you can join to Odyssey of the Mind and compete with different different states, different countries. So, yeah, thank you for your time. Well, thank you for having me. We've got another awesome student project, which is a new animation from Van, that we'd like to share with you all. Sit down, kid. No way! I don't want to, teacher. Oh yeah? When tomorrow happens, I'll have a plan. The next day. <laughs> um, teacher, why am I stuck to my chair? I'm a super glued it. What? The Voices by me and Lark Mason. Script made by Simon Lima. The end. And also, I'm going to show you a short time lapse of me creating one of the characters. Also, if you have any ideas for a new episode, just talk to me. But please do it one at a time because it's kind of overwhelming to me and takes like a week to make, so yeah. You know what time it is, Elena and Jordan. Let's look at the lunch menu for next week. Monday, February 27th, orange chicken or chicken sandwich. Tuesday, February 28th, street tacos or pizza. Wednesday, March 1st, chili or corn dog. Um, Thursday, March 2nd, popcorn chicken or barbecue pork, pork sandwich. Friday, March 3rd, western barbecue or pizza. Yay! Lunch menu! Thanks for watching our morning show. I'm Elena. I'm Alex. And I'm Jordan. We'll, we'll see you next week. week. Stay hydrated, kids.